becoming the world number one very quickly and winning the world championship a couple of years ago. It's been quite a sensational sporting career. And going once double 18. And can't find him. Seen many big out shots, ten plus out shots from Price this year. Michael, you require 18. Double nine, he cannot afford to faff. Well, no what score. a strange way to go. Gary, Once he'd split the double nine, and the faffing and the strange route opens the door to the Welshman. But he decides to just 18. close it and reopen it for Van Gerwen. Now, which way this time? Surely not seven. No, double four. Ten. An alternative route, the same Gary outcome. Ten. Six. Why can you require well, it's a bit like the back end of the final last week. Can Van Gerwen put an end to this nonsense? No, the silliness continues. No score. I don't think Michael could believe it himself there. Well, that is now very awkward. And the most difficult dart of the double hits the target. Of all the misses we saw, Laurie, he'd have offered long odds there against him squeezing that in, but he found a path to the right-hand side of the bed with the two blockers. Yeah, absolutely, don't need an open target. Match play final of the summer just passed in 2022 in Blackpool when Price led that final, I think, 4 0 at one point, but lost in the end 18 14. That was an absolute epic duel. And Van Gogh misses another dart at double. He's going to get another three here, unless he splits this, which we've seen him do twice already. This time goes outside and in at long last. throw here hasn't he and he's on a finish as well yeah, after absolutely. nine darts 83 left after nine very good yeah, as I say, you know, when, you, when you have those misses it's how you get over and you have, you've got a lot of time in this format to kind of you know, lick your wounds and think about the legs missed double 12 here the first dart didn't go where he wanted but darts two and three certainly did and it's all square as Van Gerwen so this is a big match not only because these are two tungsten titans who want to beat each other but also in the context of the league positions very important match this yeah absolutely goodness there from Price to leave tops 84 here for Van Gerwen needs the ball that make such a difference in the darts match aren't they those combination finishes they seem simple they're not but he's made them look simple van Gogh in the last three legs and now he's only one leg away from winning this match 100 100 Come from Van Gogh, and so Price could step in. 58. He does not step in, and Van Gogh in now three darts away from the match. And now two darts away. 96. And stays two darts away, unless Price can check this out, and he can't. So Van Gogh in now. The two dart combination 59. finish. Michael away from sinking price for the second time in two meetings in the Premier League and it's two darts here at double 16 he mismatched darts in a previous yes! meeting he doesn't miss it this time and Michael van Gerwen makes it back-to-back -back wins over the Iceman Gerwin Price well in the morning it's just a great feeling walking into these arenas week in week out knowing you're the main man in the sport 59. It just gives you that bit more confidence, Mark, if you know what I mean. You know, you, you come walking in, you're under the cosh a little bit, 
but you feel as though you can do it. And you feel as though you've got a one leg start, if you know what I mean. One or two leg start. It's just that little bit of, that little bit of, you know, I'm the main man and he's worked hard, Michael yeah, Smith. And it's a better leg from him Michael to move Smith. back in front. So much heartbreak and to get those two big wins. For Michael Smith to leave a finish, but you called it, Colin, he just regroups. Here he goes, is it match number three for Aspinall? Whoa! It is, what a way to respond. <laughs> After hitting nine to leave 36, but he may not get a shot. 93. A double 18 36. here for a holder throw with a great max setup. Double nine now. Oh, it's a big dart, maybe big dart. And a good dart for Nathan Aspinall. Michael Smith was waiting to pounce. You feel it's going to come down to a bit of magic if Aspinall's going to get a break round and an error for Michael Smith. Michael Smith, well, it's taken to the seventh leg, but his first maximum of his quarter-final, and looking like another comfortable holder throw. 60, Michael, he require 84. Well, like you say, Mark, I think, um, I think having the throw could be very significant in this match. 60. Salvage that shot well, Michael Smith, and... There was no real panic anyway when he went in the treble war Ballsy because he took so much time. But this for 4 3. It was a double six. Ah, he surely chucked this away. Yeah, he's thinking about it. 20. No, nope. he just split it in the end. He leave double two. Do you want me to say something? <laughs> <laughs> Did he? I, I don't, yeah, I, I'm not sure. I don't, I, I don't like that shot. Well, I, I, I why is he leaving it. double two? Because yeah. that's what he's left. He's probably going to hit it. But it's double four left. And this, no, and now Nathan Aspinall is within striking distance. Poor decision, Colin. Because doubles down the bottom of the ball. We don't like him, do we? we oh. No, that's why I was saying that. I don't understand why he didn't just throw the dart. Well, tops now. This will be a real killer. This will. Oh. What a dart that was! That's gonna, that's gonna hurt Michael Smith. That is. He may look at 25 at the last hour or at some point. Generally, you have to bring it into play to leave a finish off the back of the 312. Obviously, unless you stay on the treble twenties. But Aspinall with six from here, but. Six starts without a big treble here, and he's relinquishing the advantage that he worked pretty hard to get. Yeah, he's letting Bully Boy right back in here, and he duly steps up with the 140 to put the pressure on this 140. Stay there. Stays there, double ten. But a roof raiser, brilliant from Nathan Aspinall, pretty subdued the celebration. But consolidates that break of throw, and now he's live in it. And he's likely to get six at this 168. He's asking Michael Smith, he'll stay there. He can expect him more after that first hour. For this to stay in it. I fancy this. Oh. He'll be disappointed after the first hour, but for Aspinall, this for the fourth consecutive leg and the match. 16 or an 8, and it's tops for a big victory for Nathan Aspinall, and it is a big victory for Nathan Aspinall. Errors from Michael Smith midway through the match. That will be likely to be Van Gerwen or Aspinall as Vandenberg hits his first maximum of this match to lead 81 after 9 and the chance to break unless Dobie can take this out and he still can double 12 for an absolute stunner 17 which we require 81 how costly will that miss prove to be needs the ball Two from two, importantly again, in that race to six. During during lockdown, that's when I first noticed it, was he went on, won the uh, match play. And 
I think he could do that, but now we're back in front of a crowd. He, he just wants to kind of crack on and crack on he does there. Third maximum for Vandenberg, fifth of the match overall. 78. Victory required 161. And in with a chance now, Dimitri Vandenberg of putting some clear daylight between himself and his opponent, a two leg buffer. 64. Needs treble. 60. Victory required 97. So that means half a dozen darts and two turns at 97 for the Belgian. Might only need two darts, never mind two turns. He wants tops. And still. And he will be back for another three in it, but I'm sure he'd rather have just got that wrapped up and get rolling with the next leg. Yeah, that first dart tops, you can see it bent the wire. 57. Which we require 20. Well, now it's getting tricky. But he nails it nonetheless, and Dimitri Vandenberg leads Chris Doby four legs to two in a race to six. Well, we've said before many, many times, made it quite clear that every leg in a match play darts match counts exactly the same, whether it's leg one or leg eight or leg 11. But when you get to this stage, it just seems more important for players and observers. And we know here that if Doby wins this leg, it's four eights. If Vandenberg wins it, it's five three, and Doby has to win three on the trot. Another there to leave the chance at double, but he goes across for the tops, tops finish, and he's set! Well, it looked a inviting lie, but Vandenberg didn't fancy it, and he thought tops, tops was a better idea, and who can argue with it? 11. Vandenberg just wants any of the three legs. This one will do, I think, is the way he's going about his business. Sublimely timed 180 from Vandenberg. And he will be back for that 1 2 1 checkout. 87. He took out 81 on the ball, Laura, didn't he, in leg three? Will there be a bullseye finish at the end of this, I wonder? Or can he get two trebles to leave a double? There's the first treble. That leaves double 14 off two trebles. Brilliant finish by Vandenberg. Sensational stuff. A 140 and a 1 2 1. He's fashioned out a chance here, Peter, against the darts. That puts pay to it. A bit despondent. He's still in a great position. It's a big ask for Johnny Clayton to take up the 158. 68. So we'll expect to return, Johnny Peter. Well, he'd be disappointed that he didn't like one red treble out of that. Good break of throw there from Peter Wright. 13 dart leg. Johnny to break straight back here. Double top for a 102. 16 Right to consolidate that break. Well, these are the sort of shots, Mark, that we've seen Peter Wright take out so often. And double 18 now to see it again. Oh, just next door. It's a good effort. It's a lucky from Peter. And Johnny level straight away. And a 13 dart break. Peter Wright just getting some sort of win. It's mad about the average. Johnny Clayton did that last week. He was a really scrappy game with Nathan Aspinall. There's 39 darts of doubles between him and Nathan last week. It was a key two points for Johnny. If by some Eight. chance he does get through this match, Peter Wright, who's to say whether he doesn't go on and win the Eden? Because, because that's the confidence he could install. Well, he's got himself level here, and you know the stats are probably similar to last pressure. A bit edgy for Johnny tonight. Because you don't want to be the first player to lose to someone that's as good as Peter Wright is. But if people have been picking up points against him, you need to as well.
dare I say, Mark, that some of the players tonight might have one eye on the weekend. Another PDC major in the offering. Peter Wright looks at the ball and gets the ball. Big shot from Peter Wright. And we're level again. Peter Wright led 2-1. Peter Wright will be thinking just one red bit, one red bit. There's it, there's the one. Now try and force another. Well, he's still going to get a shot, uh, even whether it be at the bullseye. And settle for that. Johnny not offering a great deal in return. So Peter, Peter Wright. Send us to the last leg decider for the first time this evening. 36. Really neat and tidy from Peter Wright, and we are going all the way. Peter Wright took Michael Smith all the way last week. The serious pressure on the 88. Got to it a red bit. That's a good last dart. But Johnny Clayton should get a dart of the ball. Minimum. Well, he's got to find. He's got to look at trebles. Treble 17. You'd have thought. Gets it. He's already hit this on a 96 combination. He can't hit it here. Match dart come and gone. Peter Wright has not had a match dart in the Premier League this season. He should get one at a bullseye minimum here. Well, he may not get one now. Well, tops, Mark. Tops. Tops for victory for Peter Wright. And his first match dart of the season has come and gone. Clayton's had one, he's splitting, double eight, and that is two more valuable points for Johnny Clayton and more misery for Peter Wright. On the floor with your foot on his throat, he finds ways of squirming away, he won't submit at any time, will he? We saw that in the Grand Prix final, Colin, didn't we? But he was four sets to nil down to Van Gerwen and looking odds on to lose five nil in sets and got it back within a dart of four all in sets, it was incredible. Bullseye. 96. Nathan, yeah, he's a cracking player like that, Nathan. But that just goes to show, Ron, how much belief he has in his own ability. Oh, what a shot this will be. Game shot the third leg. 18, double 19, double 19. Well, I don't know if you folks at home were expecting that, but I certainly was not. Again, you'd presume he would. It was successful last time against the world champ. Indeed he does, but he's wild with his first dart. Fifty-one. Mike and he will try twenty-five. Crucial. Double eight. Big moment. Big moment. Big 17. dart. Well, oh, this is an opportunity that Nathan's created for himself. That's not what you want to see, Rod. It's not a complete catastrophe. He will still get a dart at a double. No score. Well, I say that. He won't now, will he? Oh, dear me, Nathan. And now he loses the leg without even getting a shot at the outer ring. At the top of the league ladder. Now he loves a 170, but not on this occasion. Aspinall won the UK Open with a 170, didn't he? He certainly did, mate, yeah. Only great players win majors in the match finish rod. 60 60 ball, Colin. <laughs> Sorry, I had to drop that in. Yeah. 98. Mike, Watch that one back 74. on YouTube, kids. 2005 World Match Play Final. 20 for tops for Michael. In the here and now, 54. but no. Nathan, you acquired 72. Double 12, two at it. To go two clear. Oh. 60. Mike, can he require 20? Well, dare I say it, Nathan's going to be very aggrieved if he loses this leg because he'd have thrown it away. Games from the sick he was in such control of this leg, Rob. That could really Seven hurt him now. This format is absolutely cutthroat. Short course darts with wow, eight elite Aerosmiths where there's not much between the players and it lends itself to seesaw swings in matches and 
seismic what shocks what appear to be shocks but they're not really because any one of these players can get, beat any one of the others and here van gerwin has really turned on the turbo double three 75 i was just about to say there rod with all the twisters going on break a throw break a throw break a throw how settling is it to go 3-1-40s, 57, double 12? But now we've got the dilemma of go straight at double three or two double two, straight at double three, and a hold of throw from the green machine. He refuses to counter them with 15 darters upon 15 darters. Van Gerwen can just slice you up in no time with 11s and 12s. It's a different way of getting rid of an opponent, but just as effective. A lot more hurtful if you're on the receiving end of it. Yeah, savage. Savage darts from Van Gerwen now. Sensational darts. He's scoring in these last two legs. Well, there's been some line. It has been. And even the granite Nathan Aspinall is having to yield here to the great Dutchman who threatens another 11 dart leg here. Could have on the leg before, could have one here. Double 16 and Van Gerwen wraps it up at 11 darts. That was savage darts in the last two legs. Step in. This time he does. He didn't in the previous leg. You made the good point, Laurie. I felt like he maybe tried a little bit too hard at an opportunity in that second leg. He's down to a finish here. A brilliant setup from Dimitri Vandenberg. 39, Johnny Big 161. The treble 97. Hold a throw Which here for Dimitri Vandenberg. These can be tricky though. When your darts sit up in the board, well, that eliminates the problem. Give him an open bed to aim at. He's got to work his way in 50. and calm. So Johnny, Johnny Clayton has 64. a chance for a bit of breathing space here. A break a throw, and he's got the darts as well. Would really put him in the driving seat here. Game yeah, clinically five. taken there by Johnny, Johnny Clayton. Clayton. Mm. Johnny the front first. Game on. You know he, he knew he needed that last start. 16. Which we require 100. We say so often, don't we? It's all about timing. You need to take those chances. So 105 here for Dimitri. Johnny disappointed not to get a, at least a treble. He's going to get a go here. We saw Aspinall hit this at a key 90. moment against Michael Smith Only in the quarterfinals tonight. 60. Can Johnny Clayton do it here to restore the two-leg cushion? It's tops. Is he going to stay? Game he is Central. still 100% on the doubles. 170. Just unable to find it. Great setup shot, but Johnny Clayton Johnny now with eight. Yeah, and he hasn't been missing, Johnny Clayton. He's missed now. That's a good guy. Going the wrong way. Big dart for Clayton. Game and gets there. And he's now one Johnny leg Clayton away from a spot in the final. A lot more, lot more fluid, a better rhythm. That's coincided with raising form and gets his first match and as you rightly said Laurie he looks like he's in the mood to get the job done here he's treble 20 40 Johnny require 81 this for a place in the final over to double six and goes inside there's those doubles that cost him against Chisnell the weekend which we require and he's undoing double six and double twelve let chisel back in is he going to let dimitri back in here 57. Oh, dimitri just Johnny unable to make the most six. of it it seems straightforward though seems to be a bit of room to the right so he just goes straight on the dark and we have our final in exeter johnny clayton into his first final the double in his lead Treble 20 needed for Tops, can't find it, so Van Gerwen now back for Tops for 2-0 and a break. And early control 60. in this final. Like required 40. Looks in the mood. Double 10. 
mean, moody and magnificent. MBG 2-0 over Johnny Clayton. Both legs, as we see there, on that double ten. It's final, but Michael Van Gerwen looking to go halfway to a back-to-back -back Premier League hall. Outside chance for Johnny. Outside chance becoming more possible, becoming possible! But overall, Van Gerwen has gone so far in front in legs that he's had more time at the double. Did Price break Van Gerwen off the back of a 180 start for the Green Machine last week? I seem to remember. But it doesn't happen very often. You rely on errors, aren't you, Rob? If it's yeah, you have to rely on him missing. Starts. 85. 180 may wobble Van Gerwen slightly. 60. Not enough. Should be 4-1. It is for Trouble 19, the option, the only option. Tops for Michael Van Gerwen. 97. And here's the outside Johnny chance. Well, it's slightly 17. better than that now, Mark, isn't it? With Van Gerwen having missed. Double eight for Johnny. Double four. 62. Big miss for Johnny Clayton. I was just about to say, when he won in Liverpool last year, he beat Michael Van Gerwen in the semi-final from 4-1 down. And it was with chances like that that he took. But for Van Gerwen now, uh, he's got to work his way in. He's just shuffling along, as you can see there. He's right on the corner of the hockey. This is a tricky dart. Yeah, they're not easy then. You end up doing that, going the wrong way and further away. Big opportunity for Clayton. And this is the point now where he can't afford to keep missing. And he hasn't. That's that in hand. Johnny Clayton missed four darts at double at the back end of that leg. Van Gerwen missed three, but in the end, Clayton hit. And he gets back to within a single leg. Double 12 for four all. And ultimately, Michael went out, ran out winner, went on to win the night. 60. And he's kind of let Michael Van Gerwen off the hook already here. 115. Good usually. That's the doubt that Johnny likes to work. Work from below up up to the treble. Van Gerwen likes to be up above the top wire or climb in the treble there. And good visit, good leg from Michael Van Gerwen. Well, that's costly. That might by Michael Van Gerwen. Six starts is 106 if he needs and he may not. But 5 3. And it is 5 3 in the first big roar from Michael Van Gerwen. The man. Clayton hanging on in there. Fighting hard like a ferret he is. Put it to him. The setup is 1 8 1 now, Johnny. But impossible to escape the feeling, Mark, that Van Gerwen has too much firepower for the ferret tonight. Just on what we've seen tonight, you, you can't see Michael Van Gerwen not winning one of the three legs remaining. Got a bit of luck last week. Is it rolled reversed? Is Johnny Clayton going to chase him down like he did to get him in price last week? Got to stay in that 18 segment for the shot minimum at the ball. Balls are to stay in it. 61. Could be his last starts. Here in Could be indeed as Van Gerwen with a two dark combo finish to win for the second week running. What's double 18? Game and the Dutch starting juggernaut dominates in Devon again.